What will you be later when you finish school? Will you be a teacher, a farmer or an entomologist? I know that Tonot, the president of the Beetle Breeder Club of Bangkok, who is coming with me, is most interested in remains of insects, especially the blue bucket here, because it contains insects that were collected here from this family two months ago at the end of the rainy season. And some of the beetles, they can just be found here, especially the long-living ones like Dorcus curvidens here, a beautiful male. Or other insects that have been okay. um, caught Female with a light trap. Dorcus reichi. This is a female, but Tonot also finds a uh, male very so quickly a, um, a because he knows all these huh? species. Nice. Dorcus anteus, a female, Dorcus is also here. He will take them to Bangkok. Uh, for his breeding projects, together with his friends from the Thai Beetle Breeder Club. Also, this is a very nice uh, Longhorn Beetle. Autocrop, this Aeneas is one of the most prominent of them. It was first described by Linnaeus. And this is one of the flagship species of the forests of Toi in Tanon. Also, this is really a hotspot for um, Entomologists here and taxonomists, this is a Neo Lucanus species, probably uh, Gigon tails. And there are a lot more here uh, to see. So, what will you be? These are the houses where the family lives, and right here, Town Out is building up the light trap as it is used here mostly also by people who earn some money by selling some insects to collectors or to universities or to students like Tana to come here to collect also for his specimen box. And even though it's not a rainy season and uh, there are no big beetles coming to this trap tonight, there is an incredible diversity of small and bigger insects coming to this yeah. light trap. Like this. Probably some of them yeah. until now undescribed and a lot of work for future generations of taxonomists. And look here, this is a beautiful yeah. moss from the family of Uranidae. It's called Lisa Zampo and uh, we find them also in the specimen box of the students here at the Kossetzort University in Bangkok that are preparing their specimen boxes um, to finish the studies about entomology here. So there's a lot to discuss about what species it is, um, how we write the names and the place where they collected these specimens, how they should arrange them inside of the box, because it's uh, also a task to divide them into groups of interests, edible insects, pest insects, and so on. And of course Thailand is one of the hotspots of uh, biodiversity of insects. As we can see here, back in the mountains, at the light trap, we find hundreds of species not only one, no, these are really one beetle is different than the other, one of these mosses is different than the other in all colors. Really impressive. Probably also some of them not yet described and left for the next generation to study them. Donald goes through the blue bucket with the living box and takes out all the small creatures that he and his friends like to breed back home then in Bangkok. Now of course here one of the themes is also about edible insects, that's one part of the collection 
and um, everybody as a student has to do a um, specimen box like this to finish his studies about entomology and these are some of the insects that are discussed here with Tom. Has he ever eaten a rhinoceros beetle? Yeah, he says yes, but also people can eat the larva of rhinoceros uh, beetles. Uh, let's talk about this little bug here. Must be a hemiptera, kind of a stink bug that is eaten also in parts of Thailand. What about the dragonfly here? Oh yes, it's made with an omelette. Has he ever eaten it? No. And they say no too. Why? Because Bangkok is not a real hotspot for entomophagy. It's more in the north and comes back now from the north as a nostalgic food into the big cities of Thailand, where today everybody is also eating uh, crickets and bamboo worms and whatever coming from the north of Thailand. Yeah, beautiful collections here, collected from the students of the Khosetart University, a huge campus with uh, more than 10,000 students, and this is the faculty of agriculture where entomology is also a part of it. Is there a new wave of new uh, taxonomies coming from Thailand now? I asked Dr. Suk about Bonpinich, she doesn't believe it. She said that um, it's in the nature of Thailand that the families ask the children who are studying uh, what's the job? What will be your job later on when you're finished? And um, taxonomy is not the job because there are not a lot of taxonomists who are paid good and well. Now it's not only the lack of money that is the problem for a new generation of taxonomists. Look, mostly people who collect insects, they are looked at as if they would be the reason that insects are extinct one after the other. But the main reason why a lot of species have been extinct in the last hundred years is not the taxonomists, it's the industry who produces insecticides and the lost habitats of these insect species. And this is what taxonomists and entomologists can prove with their work that they look what kind of insects are living in what kind of a habitat. But probably if we find out that insecticides and habitat destruction is the reason why we lose thousands of species of insects, it's probably too late. But anyway, it's a wonder and a pleasure to see the biodiversity of insects and the biodiversity of living organisms on this planet.